watched two videos. You should have watched um, the one about, it shows you all about the tennis ball and how if you were to take the round ball and flatten it out, how it would be so much different um, looking than when it was completely round. And they were using that as an example for how it was for um, uh, cartographers to transfer the world onto a flat map. So um, our world is a 3D shape. It's circular, but it's a solid shape. That's why we call it 3D. And then they're putting it onto a flat, stick, flat shape, like a piece of paper. So it's very different when you go from a solid to, I'm sorry, a 3D solid shape to just a flat 2D shape. So what I'm going to have you do today for an assignment, you've had an opportunity to watch both videos, and then we were talking about how it would be difficult to transfer them and that, that it's distorted. It's called distorted because it goes from this onto this. So your job is to, um, I provided you two pictures from a globe, and you're going to do the best you can. You can't really see mine very well. But you're supposed to draw the world on here, so all the continents. And I was trying to do it. It was a little difficult. I tried with uh, Sharpie, couldn't get it to work. And then um, I just ended up using a pen. Pen worked a lot better. So anyway, after you get done, you're going to do the same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to peel it, and then we're going to put it up to a flat piece of paper because it's going from a 3D shape to a, a flat 2D shape. So that's what I'm going to do. Try your best to keep it into one piece. Remember, I said two to three minutes for... Um, drawing this on here is not to be perfect. The idea is that you get the uh, the understanding of how difficult it would be to transfer it. And um, so two to three minutes, nothing more. And then you're going to peel this the best that you can without breaking it so you can keep it into one piece. So I'm going to pause you real quick and start that. All right, so I just started a little hole up at the top, and I'm going to do the best that I can to peel it into um, one big piece, okay, so that means I'm going to try and take it off around the top first, all right? I don't want to videotape this whole thing because that will be a long time, but at least you have an idea of how I tried to do it. I would use a larger orange. I only have these little ones here, but I was, um, you know, I wanted to do this, and so I said this is all right. So if all you have are little ones, do it. Okay, so I've kind of popped it open like this, and now I'm going to make the effort to peel it off. I'm going to pause this, and then I will come back with the finished product. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing. As I'm peeling it apart, I do have to, you know, split it. There's no way that I'm going to be able to get it off and put it flat on a surface without splitting it. So I wanted to show you that so you don't say, well, how did she do that? Well, I'm doing it just like this. See? Kind of like... Undoing a flower. All right. You might want to have your parents help you a little bit. I'm almost done. All right. So now I have my peel. And now if I put it onto a flat surface, oh, look, this is too curved. I had to push it down. I have to push all of the top. Take a look. Does this look like my orange? Really? Mm -mm. It doesn't look like anything's going to be in the same place it's supposed to be either. I mean, that's the first thing I noticed. So it would be very difficult for someone who is creating a map using the world to do that. We use maps, of course, to find distances. Maybe I want to um, just have a map of a certain state and I want to travel maybe a certain distance. Maybe I want to just travel from, say, Deltona all the way to Gainesville. Games, though. Nowadays we have GPS, but it doesn't mean that if GPS isn't working that you can't get there. There are maps. You can use them. You can read them. Okay. Um, however, in my opinion, for those, it's a little bit better because we are looking at um, just traveling on roads, but when we're talking about creating a um, map of the, U of the U.S., and I'm sorry, not of the U.S., but of the world, um, you have to take something that is circular, and you have to put on something black. Okay, that's what you're doing. I can't wait to see it. All you're going to do is just take a picture of yours, and it's okay if I can't see these very well, as I have been moving my fingers across. It's kind of wiped off some of what I drew on here. That's okay. And then I've provided a question for you to answer. Okay.
que a viste 